Hello everyone, welcome back to Tux Writers. In this video we're going to have a look at another technique for compiling programs and libraries that is very similar to the technique that we employed for Seagal but a bit different. And as a demonstration to this technique I want to show you how to use and compile programs using the Lattice Boltzmann simulator code OpenLB. So let's go. Okay, so uh, I choose OpenLB because uh, it has a very similar yeah, compilation process to Seagal. But in Seagal, we were, you know, we were using a library that was, I told you, it was header-only library. And it was implemented solely in the headers. But in OpenLB, it's more like in a sort of standard library in C++, not only headers. But... The way that you use this library is different from, for example, MMG or other libraries that you see on the internet or you see for scientific computing, that you compile the library or program and then use it afterwards. Here, with this code, that is also common, you know, it's not, it's not rare, at least I can say. You compile the program, you compile the library every time that you build a program that employs that. Let me show you uh, this in action. So OpenLB, as you can see here, is a simulation uh, code for Lattice Boltzmann method for computational fluid dynamics, uh, which is quite powerful and it's been developed for several years. Uh, and it comes with bunch of, uh, you know, uh, examples to get it started with. But before before going for the examples, let me download the latest version of the library, which is, yeah, quite new. Mm, yeah, let's download this one. And I think it comes uh, with all the uh, examples as well. So yeah, o OLB. So I come here, I make a new directory for OpenLB, or it can be like uh, CFD whatsoever. And I copy the download folder OLB here. So I have OLB here, now you know. I extract it with Z, I wanna see the files, a verbose mode, and OLB, okay? So now we have uh, an OLB, OpenLB folder. Of course, this was a sort of release candidate, not a, not a very stable uh, version, but it doesn't matter. So here, you see that we have examples directory. I can show you also in file browser, uh, in file explorer, we have OpenLB. You can build a library, but I don't want to do that. I want to show you how it works in action. So every time that, uh, let's go for the simplest uh, examples, in this case, cavity 2D, you know, the cavity problem that you have a cavity, it has a lead, a moving lead, and then you want to see the, you know, the rotating uh, velocity field inside. So C++ programs, it install, yeah, it opens Atom. Yeah, it's quite easy to use. You can go through the source code to see how you can set up a simple problem using different data structures that this library provides. And uh, yeah, you prepare the lattice and then you, you provide it with the boundary conditions and then uh, some codes for how to post-process the results and then you, you, you run the simulation. And uh, as you can see, it comes with a make file. So a make file inside each example directory. And this make files compiles the part of the library, the, the part of the library that you need along and beside the compilation of the example. And what I mean by that, I mean, let's go to that directory. Let's see that in action. Examples of a laminar and cavity. I think it was 2D, yeah. Okay, and now you know that when we want to use uh, GNU make, we have to execute the make command, and the make command looks for this make file. 
Let's see what happens. If I press make, you see that it starts to compile lots of other lots of different source codes you see that the src external tiny xml and uh various source files inside the openlb core library but the example was just only one file but you saw that when i started to compile it it also compiled part of the library that was needed to to be included in this in this exa file sorry in this executable file and when I run it, when I uh, when I uh, list the content of the folder, you can see that now we have an executable here, Cavity 2D, and I can run it. And it starts to uh, to simulate indeed the, the program for me. And if I go to that directory, I think yeah, here it has also sort of uh, output uh, written for me in different formats. Uh, over time, so in, in, indeed it's it's running. But uh, you will see lots of program in this, uh, you know, following this approach, and it's quite uh, interesting. That uh, especially for for not very big programs, huge programs, or you know, software programs, software libraries that is you know a, a research lab has developed. This is quite common approach. To go for, to to make the library, to build a library beside uh, the examples. So you can see that here now uh, it has simulated uh, the cavity uh, problem for me. And if I go for you know another problems like I don't know multi component, and uh, let's go for phase separation 2D. Let's see what is that. So I go back and multi-phase, was it, what is that? It was, uh, oh, I have to put two directories of multi-components and it was phase separation. Yeah, phase separation 2D. So we have here uh, a CPP file again and a make file. And if I type make file, now it starts to look for for the previous build library as well as all the components that are necessary. So I press here and you see that it starts to build other still some part of the library but also uh, or, uh, my my main uh, CPP file. So it uses sort of you know previously built components as well as the ones that are required and my my example. So here I I can run it, phase separation, and yeah, it starts to run. And if I go to that folder, I see that, uh, yeah, it has started. So this is in the sort of, uh, yeah, cool, a sort of uh, uh, phase separation for multi multi phase simulations using Lattice Boltzmann, which is quite good at at these kind of uh, simulations. So yeah, I don't want to go for <laughs> to details of this uh, Lattice Boltzmann and Openable library, but my purpose was, my goal was to, to show you how to, to do this and you see that, yeah, this is quite easy. When you see a library, a way in you face a library like this, like OpenLB, powerful one, uh, on the internet or for, for any kind of purpose, don't afraid of going through that downloading the source code and and compiling the code because now you see that it's it's indeed very very easy what you need to do is in this case is just going to the target example directory and compile it using the GNU make in some cases you may also need to configure the library a bit uh, like what you saw in Seagal maybe some dependencies but not more than this you know most of the libraries that you will face would be something like this or Seagal. And uh, by knowing this, if you try to do this yourself, you will be able to use any scientific code, open source scientific code on the internet. So I hope you enjoy this uh, and uh, yeah, have fun with that. See you later. Bye.